<laughs> yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> I just went live. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Retainer Designer. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> I just went live. My wife is behind me. <laughs> Now. Welcome to <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Retainer Designer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> I just went live. My wife is behind me. Welcome to Retainer Designer. Yeah, I'm recording. I just went live. My wife is behind me. <laughs> Alright, I apologize for that. Sorry. Uh, I apologize for that. I had a loop going and it messed up. So, let's start over. Welcome to Wire Wednesday, number 29. In case you missed it, my wife just left because she was laughing too hard because of an audio book she was listening to. And she was laughing right as I went live. So, it kind of distracted me and my audio went on a loop. So, I apologize uh, but today we're just going to do uh, some wire bending. I'm going to answer some questions from my channel and any chat questions you may have, uh, just put them in the chat and I'll try to answer them today. If not, I apologize uh, in advance if I can't answer them. I don't know everything. Anyway, uh, so if she comes back, she'll be, she's grinding on retainers, so she was worried about the sound, but <laughs> she started uh, laughing. And so if you hear her laughing, she's not crazy. She just likes the audiobook she's listening to. So, anyway, uh, like I was saying before, last two weekends ago I went to a conference and I did a presentation. And I live streamed from there, and um, the live stream is available on my channel. So, if you haven't seen it, look for Super Spring Aligner, a case study in analog versus digital. the bone, and then Osteoblast, which will build the bone. And so on one side you get bone resorption and then bone formation. So here's another, these are real simple. So there it is in neutral status. Make sure I got my headphones on to make sure I stopped it and it, it's not going on in the background. So I have to turn on all these audio sources and make sure they're not playing, but I can't listen at the same time because there's a delay and it screws me up even more and I can barely talk. So there you go. All right. so. Today, again, like I said, I'm just going to be doing some wire bending and answering some questions that y'all may have. Uh, and I got a little cool little soldered spring I'm going to do. It's not that important. may not last very long today, but y'all deserve a live stream, and I'm here to deliver, so to speak. Anyway. So, uh, let me move. Ah. Hello from Germany. Hi. Glumfi Hefefef. I don't know. Morocco. Very cool. Morocco and Germany. Ottomani in a handy. Sorry if I mess up y'all's names. Uh, I'm not very good at that part. But let me go to my channel real quick. I'll answer those questions. And if they spark any other questions, uh, just answer them in the comments below. So, um, going to my channel. So Tiffany, 
Jean, I have a question. My wire, my Holly retainer snapped inside the acrylic, and I'm not sure if I should take it in because it fits, still fits fine. Now, if the if the uh, retainer, if it's still covered with acrylic and the wire broke within the acrylic and it still fits, you're probably fine. Um, but if that wire starts getting loose and coming out, then you'll probably have a hard time. Hey, you feel better? Yes. <laughs> they may not have even heard it because I had it on some uh, weird audio loop. <laughs> so, <laughs> she gets embarrassed. <laughs> but anyway, if you if the retainer is broken, if the wire is broken in the acrylic, do you have a retainer I could use? No, but just let me have it. Okay, so if the wire broke inside the acrylic, like in here, I don't know how it would break in there anyway, but if it does, then you're probably fine. But if it broke here along where it comes out of the acrylic, then if you pull on it, it's probably going to come out. you got to take it in and get it repaired. So that's... Uh, one thing to look out for is if it's broken in the acrylic you're probably fine if it's broken right at the edge of the acrylic the wire then you probably have to take it in and get it repaired we don't want it to spring on you and, and hurt your cheek or anything thank you so the next question if I can find the right source here okay so what is that white powder so this was a acrylic application video uh, this was Alan Smith. It's called polymer, uh, and, it, and it, the acrylic is a two-step method. You put the polymer down, you wet it with monomer, and they have a chemical reaction, and they they have a t chemical reaction <clears throat> when you put the polymer down and wet it with the monomer. It, you get a chemical reaction, and it hardens and uh, get it sets up that way. And that's how we make the plastic in the retainer. Uh, who I use is this. Can you see that? So that is uh, JBC. You go to jbcandcompany.com and it's super fine clear splint polymer, the 416. It's a five, five pound <laughs> bottle I use right there. So, uh, to comment on my uh, compressor, my quiet compressor, excellent, lightweight, works like a dream. I, I agree, Francisco. It, this my compressor has worked out great. Uh, check out my live stream of my unboxing. I turn it on and compare it to a pancake compressor that I had before, and it's, it's night and day difference. What size wire are you using for the Adams class? <clears throat> that kind of brings me to my next. Uh, these I get from Preform from JBC. You can make your own. I have a video on that. It's one of my more, more popular videos. Uh, and I use 028 wire. So as I'm, this is the Adams class that I was going to bend for y'all. So it kind of shows you how fast you can get to being finished. Now, you know, there's some purists out there that say he's never used preform. Um, I only carry about three sizes of preform, three main sizes, and I usually get those to fit most teeth. But it's good to know how to bend one. A, it makes you bend. If you know how to bend an Adams clasp, check my video for Adams clasp. Uh, you can bend these preforms just faster. Um, it, it, it'll make you even faster with the preforms if you know how to bend a real one. And you don't have to carry as much stock of preform wires. Uh, like I, I carry size 7, 8, 9. Maybe some 10s. But if they go any bigger or any smaller, I just bend them by hand. So it's good to know how to bend them by hand. So, so just doing a little bending here. Okay, uh, Glumphy, why do you always trim the acrylic on top of the retainer so much? You could do a lot more art with that whole plate stays covered. Uh, that is, so, 
what he's talking about is the full palette. Uh, yes, you can do a lot more artwork if you do full palette, meaning the, uh, well, let me switch cameras here. So, I, what I do is I do a, what's called a horseshoe palette. Can I have an upper retainer? And the model? Well, you could have grabbed me one. Anyway, so this is a horseshoe, as you can see. Sometimes I don't get the palette. This is a 3D printed model. But sometimes I don't get the palette, so I do just a horseshoe cut, mainly for patient comfort. This d has less of a gag reflex. It doesn't go all the way to the back of the palette. Uh, so if I go all the way back here, yes, you can get more artwork in, uh, and you got more freedom in how you can bend your wires and stuff. But to me, it's all about patient comfort. I want them to wear it. Um, sometimes you do need to go full palette if, there's, if it's an expansion case, and you want to keep everything nice and, and spread apart. Uh, but most of the time, I do I trim everything down to horseshoe, so it's more comfortable for the patient. So when they put it in, they don't gag on it or anything, and it's easier to pumice and trim it when you're not having to deal with a full palette like a denture. So hopefully that answers your question, um, and it's mainly a doctor's preference. Doctor, some doctors want full palette, some doctors want horseshoe, um, so. That's why I'd, I trim them like that. Here's that. I want to improve my orthodontic practice. Oh, are you, uh, Othami? Othamini? I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name. Uh, it says you want to improve your orthodontic practice. Uh, I don't know if you're a lab or a doctor. You have to tell me. Uh, and you know, educating yourself on these videos is is one way of doing it. Not just mine, but like Steve Zara's and and Jay Tyler and and there's plenty of orthodontists out there doing videos too. Oh, you're welcome for that explanation. Oh, let me get to. Uh I think I just messed up that bend. <laughs> Let me get to the uh, latest comments on my YouTube channel. Okay, so you make it look so easy. I've been doing it for three days. Luna Kim, you know, every, we all started somewhere. And, you know, you always look to somebody who had been doing it before. And they always make it look easy. So one of these days, somebody's going to look at your work and say that you you make it look easy. So keep it up. Hello, sir. Can you suggest any authentic reference book for this procedure? Now, this was finishing fixed appliances, like uh, trimming and polishing soldered appliances. And you can go to Great Lakes Practical Guide to Orthodontic Appliances. I have this book. Um, it's a great book for basic learning of all this. And also check out jtylerortholabvideos.com, I believe, is the uh, ortholabvideos.com. Yeah. Uh, he's got a DVD where he teaches all this stuff uh, in, a, in a more organized fashion than I do. Um, thank you for videoing your passion. I like your model holder. Thank you for Kinnat. Uh Thank you for you know uh, noticing. You know I don't have any other hobbies besides this. So, uh, but my model holder, I got them both from Great Lakes. Um, this one is great for trimmed models. And then this one is great for untrimmed models. So they, you get them both from Great Lakes Ortho. So that link above, uh, just go to greatlakesortho.com and uh, you can order these model holders there. And that reference book I mentioned before. And then um, how much, I don't know what they mean, <laughs> how much I charge. It's different for every part of the country. Uh, hi, I think the acrylic button is too small. Uh, it should be bigger. At the end, orthodontic forces go through the button. You are correct. That was a small button I put on there. So I try to explain, uh, and I try to keep away from the size of papilla. Uh, try not to impinge that. 
too much. But if you watch my Wire Wednesday, I don't know which one this is, but it's the Nance Button one. It is kind of small. It needs to be a little bit bigger because all those... I'm sorry. Yeah, all those... Uh, yeah, I think the acrylic button is too small. It should be bigger. Yeah. If you watch that video, yeah, it, it's it's probably a little bit small. It needs to be big enough for the uh, the forces to push forward. So these molars will be drifting forward, and you got to have enough surface area here to distribute those forces into the roof of the mouth. Otherwise, it's going to impinge. Oh, okay, you work in a laboratory. Yeah, so, you know, that's one thing um, that is great about YouTube is you can pick up ideas from everybody. In fact, Steve Zara has a new video out he's putting out once a month where he goes over the top five tips he's learned that month, which is a great idea. And uh, even though, you know, people like me and Steve and Jay Tyler and everybody else is putting out YouTube videos, even though we, uh, you think we would know everything, we don't. You know, we know what we know. We're just willing to share it with the world uh, through the scrutiny and and everything. Uh, but we learn new techniques all the time. I like watching Steve's videos and Jay's videos and uh, getting tips from them. You always, always need to have arrows in your quiver, as they say. Uh, you know, you need to learn different ways of doing the same technique so that when it comes time to, you're getting challenged by a certain um, appliance or a certain problem you're having, you can pull a technique from someone else and it'll be perfect for that case. Sorry. Ah, fly! I told you that flies back. Mm -hmm. Yep, my friend. I should name him. All right. I don't know what other people do for uh, lower Adams class, but I always find them a little bit difficult trying to tuck the wires in, and I usually just send them forward. Or move, you know, go measly with them. There we go. I think we got it there. All right. So what this is is a. Uh, I make sure I'm out of the way. All right. So they're wanting to move this seven, this lower right seven, this way. So lingually. So I've waxed the lingual some, and I'll probably remove some more acrylic when you get it done. But we're gonna solder a wire here, going to here, and then the doctor can activate that and just try to push that wire in. And so that's why we're doing an Adams clasp on this instead of a rest, just for the extra retention, because that is going to cause some forces some dislodging forces. Oh, got a comment. I've had several retainers as a patient and I found it even more comfortable when the top was entirely covered since I didn't have a hole in my palate. Now that is a good point. Um, you know, sometimes having a full palate, again, it's, it's doctor you could do you do what your doctor asks for. So, um, yeah, that's a good comment that you mentioned that uh, you found it more comfortable when the top was entirely covered. Now there are some people with very sensitive gag reflexes and they don't want anything near the back of their throat. Um, but I could also see it not having as much, um, more like a denture covered like a denture, so it mimics your palate and also saliva won't get in as easy uh, and you might actually get more suction because uh, you you can make a denture like make it like a, a suction cup 
you know, um, where it fits better. Uh, you know, using post palatal seal and, and all that stuff. Did you have any, you had several, were they all full palette or are you saying you had both and you liked the one that had the full palette more? Oh, I don't think so. I'll, let me put my ear in. So, doing this special thing, I uh, I gotta bend it in such a way. So this is a good. So you can kind of see the midline here, so the the central fossa of these teeth, and you can see how how much. There we go. How much this is off and this is off. See how they need to line. This needs to go in. So, when you bend right here on this Adams class, you need to make sure that it's not blocking this tooth from going lingually. So, I, so you see why it's kind of skewed a little bit on this tooth. These lower molars, they, they really need a big, um, big wide Adams class. So let me, I'm going to use some, uh, since I'm going to be soldering on here, I'm going to use some Z-Base. This is just, uh, what's it called? What's an official name? I, I have a, a whole video on this called uh, Z-Base Z or, um, block out repair material so this um, the flames if I used wax when I go to solder this it was it would just uh, melt my wax and then everything would shift so I'm just gonna put just a little bit of little bit of Z base right there uh, a little tip instead of using that spray some some of the accelerators come with a spray bottle and you spray it and it just mist everywhere and gets in your nose and mouth and hands I use a little monomer bottle I got this from JBC also they sell black ones um, so the light won't get in there and then uh, just the smallest little needle tip and just you can directly apply it right on there it takes a little bit longer because it didn't atomize the accelerator like it normally does Thank you. You can give me. Let's see. Can you give me your Facebook account for state communication? I will show you what I do in my laboratory. Yes. Uh, my Facebook account. Let's see. I think I have it pulled up here. So you can look up Cade Tippett. Or the best way to get a hold of me is go to my page, retainerdesigner.com. And uh, you can, I believe you can contact me there. That's the best way is retainerdesigner.com. So search that in Facebook and, and like the page. And then I believe you can message me there. Uh, I've had three or four different types in my treatment. For some reason, I was even able to talk better with the covered one. I liked it most or, or hated it less. <laughs> very true. Very good point. So, you know, maybe it's... Uh, I can definitely see advantages of full palate um, over horseshoe, uh, but I've just made horseshoe for so many years, nobody's asked for anything different. Now I did post a picture, maybe I need to post it. Actually I show a picture of it in my presentation, um, let's see if I can find that, I may not be able to. And I actually did a full palette one. It was a request by a doctor. There it is. 
No, it's not. There it is. So there's my full palette one. And uh, so you can see how it it's not horseshoe, but it's full palette and actually sits up on its own end. But I can see covering the whole palette uh, would really help the cause of uh, speech and you know saliva suction and stuff. And it's all about getting used to your retainer. The more you wear it, the better you get used to talking in it and stuff. So watch that uh, presentation if you want to see that picture bigger version. Hello, Rocky2007. Um, how are you? And Michael Moon, uh, I'm new to start with the lab. Can you advise me of basic starter supplier wires and resin? That is a great idea. Hey, look, look for my. There is a starter kit for resin. Um, it is by JBC and Company. Uh, they have a starter kit and it's all 80 of their resins here let me change my cameras real quick so you can see this disregard the wires all right so zoom out a little bit so here is my starter kit resin there are my monomers up there and then there are all my polymers now every now the reason I did this was this chart is the color card I sent to the doctors I didn't have to create it it's already it's already made it's plastic like credit card type material and it's actually see-through on the transparent colors like you can see there Let's see if I can turn on a, a light here there we go so it's transparent so you can see through the transparent colors. See that? So they can hold it up to the light and get a real good example of what their colors are. And then of course it's got all the luminaries, it's got everything. And I wanted to offer a lot of colors because I want patients to be proud of the retainers and wear them a lot um, and show them off. And so there's lots of glitters and that whole section of glitter. And then here's, you know, they all come in these little two ounce bottles. So you get a sample of what you like to use. And I buy these bottles for like cobalt blue and turquoise, the popular colors. And so these are all, see they go all back there. And so that's the starter kit. And I do a live unboxing of that. It's kind of boring, <laughs> but it'll give you a good idea of, um, oh, let me turn off my light here. So, Michael, uh, check out JBC and Company. Actually, let me see if I can put it in the notes here. You can actually call them and talk to Priscilla. She will be perfect for... Um, I don't know if I can put it. Yeah. Uh, she'll be perfect for... Uh, starting your own lab she actually has lab consulting services and if you I believe it's on her front page one of these will pop up as a lab, lab consulting services partner we see no customer service industry partner about us anyway you can contact her and uh, she offers consulting services for new large small labs oh, I didn't have it on the video here you go so here's the JBC and company um, I don't know if it's here no somewhere on here anyway That being said, yeah, she will let you know, and then you can just order the stuff from her. I want to say that new, um, oh, let me see if I can find that. Here's my Facebook page for my channel, and uh, y'all can contact me there. 
and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, All right. So now I'm just going to bend this other side just to have it done. So once on solder, this will be ready to go. I'm kind of really being rough with my wires today. Might be this really sharp three prong. I like to use a dull three prong. You know, it makes a better bend as far as not as exact a bend, but it really makes a smooth bend. All right, so JBC has full starter package, but I think it's too much for me. What, what do you think about this full package? Yeah, it's um, it's eighteen hundred, thirteen hundred. I forget, but it was well worth for me. Uh, but you know, the, she also sells smaller groups, so you can all, uh, buy just uh, let's see t -t 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 acrylics. I think you can just buy buy the groups of powders also. I might be wrong on that. But the cool thing is you can buy just four ounces at a time if you want. Um, you can contact her and, and just get the, you know, she'll know her most popular colors and uh, make sure that you get her, more, like, you know, you always want like royal pink, you know, something like that, or royal blue is always a popular color. So, and of course you always need clear and standard pink. Uh, oops, there's clear, monomer, tinted clear, clear pink. Um, and I think the prices are, you know, here's regular crystal clear monomer. You can get them in two ounce bottles uh, or like four ounce bottles. I'm doing this whole website thing, y'all can't even see it. Uh, but you can do two ounce bottles, eight ounce, sixty. So you can order what you need a little bit at a time. And so I went ahead and went with the starter kit, and I'm just adding to order as I need. So when I start getting low on one, I'll order. And if it's a very popular color, I'll order a bigger amount. If it's a less popular color, I'll order a small amount. You kind of want to do small amounts anyway. Uh, of monomer because it, it goes bad after six months or so. Uh, you're welcome. What's her name again? Her name is Priscilla Meyer. She's the owner of the company. She. Let me type it in. She's the owner of the company and she. Uh, I've, I've contact her all the time for help with starting my lab, restarting up my lab and everything like that. Uh, Oh, Hemi, Hemi, you're welcome. And oh, I got a, a clapping, yay! Are those preformed Adams class? LeBron James, <laughs> Sarah, LeBron James is watching my. <laughs> LeBron James is watching my live stream. Awesome. Uh, For real? Well, it says LeBron James is a different, probably. I'm sure LeBron James, the basketball player, has a lot better things to do than watch my videos. Uh, but yes, they are preformed Adams class. And I was saying before, um, I usually carry only about three or four, two or three sizes, uh, eight, nine, ten. And what I was saying before is watch my video on bending your own Adams class. Uh, I think it's very helpful for you to know how to bend your own for many reasons. One, you may run out of the size and you got to bend your own. Two, if you know how to bend them, you only have to carry about three sizes and that covers about 90% of the sizes of teeth that you will be working on and you can just bend the rest so you can save money there. So it's a money saver if you know how to bend your own. I want to say these are about $25 a pack of 100. So this will make me about 50 retainers.
Oh, you're welcome, Michael, and good luck. You know, keep asking questions. I'll try to answer them. As far as wire goes, I forgot to ask, answer that. Um, she sells them in different types. So I get them in tubes of quarter pound. So this is a quarter pound of wire, but she can also sell them in ten, you know, ten per tube. Uh, so I like them in quarter pound, so I don't have a whole bunch of tubes. So this is like 028. So my starter wires would be, you know, labial bows are either 030, 032, and clasp are. If it's a C clasp, I usually match what the labial bow is. Ball clasp come, and this is like an 032 from Forestident. This is 028 from JBC. So I usually use 028. Keep 032 on hand just in case. Uh, need a thicker ball clasp. Hello. Nas, Nasd, Nadis. I cannot pronounce y'all's names. I'm from Texas. I think it's born in us. We can't pronounce things, so we just make up our own accent and <laughs> pronounce of things. So, no offense if I can't pronounce your name. One option for bending wires on the lower is see how I overlapped it here to make it stronger. You could actually overlap this here too and make it stronger. Um, I didn't do it here, I don't know why, but the doctor usually likes short. Um, it's mainly because I think this is going to be thick enough. To withstand, so I'm going to use, um, let's, let's bend this uh, thing here. Use some of that 028 wire here. And I'm going to fold this wire back on itself. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Let me bend it. There we go. Now, what does this do? When you fold back on yourself, um, this allows the, the doctor to adjust like this. So if he wants to rotate the tooth, let's say this is the wire coming all the way across here so this will be soldered to here and then the doctor can now if I flip it over uh, whichever one fits better and then I can contour the bottom one a little bit so you can see I made a little bend I'm going to dip this down just a tad. Pull it back out. That'll give me a little bit of slack in there. Actually, I need to remove some of this. nice merch <laughs> yeah if uh, you want to look in the uh, below the video I've made some t-shirts some retainer designer t-shirts so if anybody wants a t-shirt you know uh, you can purchase them down below I see, I wish I could translate this. Grandpa, Tipo, Bola, Para, Presentos. I see Adams. Thanks for the tips. You're welcome. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for watching. Nice merch. Steve Zara. I just, Steve, I just mentioned your tips video you're going to do every month because somebody's uh, starting their ortho lab. And I said, you know, I always. You know, subscribe to our channels and they will always learn new tips. 
and we as we learn new tips all the time so this is just a simple little like paddle design and I'm gonna solder it to the if I can hold it in place all right come on now and those are just now joining my wife's in the background pumicing you have to watch the first of it <laughs> we got tickled because she started laughing at her audiobook right as I went li live. <laughs> She's like, you're not live, are you? I was like, yes. Yes, I am. All right, so hold that down with some Z-Base. Keep it parallel right there. Now, Steve, you and I are going to have to do a video. You're going to have to show me how to use this thick solder you use. I ordered some from his Amazon store, and... Uh, it's, it's so thick, I'm not used to it. I'm used to using uh, like 038 size, 032 size wire. It's so thick. I gotta totally change my technique when I solder. And I'll show you in a minute what I, what I have to do now. What are you making behind the six? A hook? Kind of, I guess it's like a hook. It's like a paddle or a, a soldered spring that's gonna push that seven lingually. So I'm going to solder it here, and then the doctor will, it'll be passive when the doctor gets it, but he'll activate it, and then it will push this, and I, you see I made marks here. You can see the central fossas don't line up. So he's going to push that lingually. And then I, I double bent it so then he can actually take this bottom arm of it and bend it more and try to get it to rotate also. So it's it's got dual purpose. You can also add a, a coil spring in there if you think you need it or if the doctor, doctor asks for it. So there's an alternative one to this. All right, I'm going to put a little uh, this is flux for my solder. And then I'm going to Oh, my little plug is plugged up. sure I got enough on there so let me show you on these solders this is a solder I got from Steve's Amazon store Steve's ours Amazon store check out his in one of his videos down below he'll he'll have it in there uh, Great Lakes does not sell that opaque bottle anymore but can you you can get it here oh good point they have an assortment of solvent oh great I'm gonna look that up thank you see our list Glumfy, I've, I've read that removable twin blocks are recommended to be fixed in the mouth for the first two weeks. Do you know how this is being done? I have no idea how you fix twin blocks in the mouth. Um, they're, those are designed to be removable. So fixed is the key word. If twin blocks are removable, they shouldn't be fixed. Now, it's recommended that the patient wear it in the mouth for however long the doctor prescribes they got to eat in it and sleep and chew and snore and all that stuff in their twin blocks um, but I don't think they can fix it in there it's it's held in with clasp like you would retainers now a fixed twin block well not twin block is a herpst so uh, check out Steve Zara's video over here uh, he does a lot of videos on herpst now that's a fixed uh, thing that does the same thing as twin blocks and that the patient can't take it out. So here's the solder I got. This is actually too thick for me, this one. <laughs> but I like using it for these small things. Uh, this is way <laughs> thick. I haven't got my technique down for that. But I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to turn off some of my light. Let 
wonder if I can zoom in so you can see all the problems. Okay. I'm going to turn off one more light. Hopefully there's enough light. Now I can see my flame. See how fast that gets red? There, that's it. Sorry that was blurry. Okay, so I'll clean this off real quick and show y'all it, and then we can call it a day. We will do a live soldering video. Yes, I want to do that because, so let me kind of show you, Steve, what I was talking about is, you know how I was able to push that into the, the solder? I was able to, so I'm, as I'm heating, I was able to push it in. This, I can't get it hot enough to melt so I have to do like a dab technique where I just kind of try to melt part of it down so yeah I want to I want to do a live training with Steve Zara on how to solder with thick solder this is so thick and I think he even said this is not even as thick as he likes to use so there's some secret in there that I need to learn <laughs> one second I just need to. Ooh, gross. So I steamed it off. It's still dirty, and I gotta re-wax that down. I went a little crazy. I was trying to do it real fast, but you can see now when this gets done. I try to post pictures on my uh, Facebook channel, um, and you can see the end product of it but this will the doctor will just activate it about right here and it will eventually push it in and, but you can see you need Adam's class because you need the retention to uh, keep this in because in, this has a lot, a lot of dislodging force in it alright well I'm going to call it there I got some retainers to get out there's one thing I wanted to mention and you saw me use it I got these off of my Amazon page and I've kind of liked them you know they were a little they were cheap but you know they uh, let me see if I can find all of them oh yeah So shameless plug, there's a I have an Amazon link in the bottom with these four tools. They come in packages like this. I was gonna try to keep them in the package so that you could see them, but it's a nice little kit. I mean, you can tell they're a little cheaper. Um, in fact, they're not even they don't even stick. I have a magnetic strip that I put this on on my uh, spatulas, but I needed a new spatula because. my old one was getting super old as you can see I've, we've tried to repair it so it was this is a really good one it's lasted for gosh years decades but I needed a new one but I didn't need so this whole kit I want to say it was like $16 for all of these and I've always wanted one of these flask knives you you know I wouldn't use this on a I wouldn't use these on a daily basis but for just having the tools on hand when you need them for that one or two thing uh, this is great for scooping out things, you know, it's got a knife on this end. I really like the feel of this in my hand. It, it, it's real small and I can pick bubbles, scrape on things real small. And of course it's got a scoop on the end too. So 
check out my link below my Amazon page. I've put a link to this, and I kind of like them. Now, like I said, you don't want to use this. This wouldn't be an everyday spatula, but I don't use them very much, except for one or two days I got to duplicate or pour up uh, once a week, and it it's good enough. But it doesn't stick to magnetic magnetic strip, which could be a good thing or bad thing. So I don't know. It must be like aluminum or something. Uh, but it won't rust. That's the good thing. Because I think these will rust. And these haven't rusted yet. And we use these to separate appliances. It, it's a great little knife. Anyway, I thought I would mention that. Uh, it's in the store below. Uh, we can do. We can demo soldering a lot of RPEs, etc. Yeah, let's do that. So when I get some RPEs or you get some RPEs together, maybe I'll just have you, Steve, you just do the video. Um, we'll do it live and we'll bring in your video into the live stream. And you can show us, I know you do tons, tons, tons of RPEs and I don't do enough to practice. So I need a lesson. So with that, I'm going to end it. Uh, you can continue leaving comments below. It won't be in the live stream. It'll be down below the video. But I'll try to answer them. And again, you can uh, contact me through my Facebook page, facebook.com page. It's in the over there in the live stream text if you're watching on a computer. So again, uh, check out. Uh, got my this merch. Live thankfully. I'll put a link to that below. This helps feed um, a county that my wife is from, Wise County here in Texas. It helps to feed the hunger, hungry there every Thanksgiving so I'll, I'll put a link you can buy a t-shirt and support uh, feeding the homeless and stuff there so uh, again I got my t-shirts in the bottom that I've designed I'll try to come up with some more designs if anybody's got any ideas let me know but other than that uh, this is it for wire bending Wednesday today number 29 where I bend wires and answer questions so uh, stay tuned for hey, a soldering video maybe coming up from Steve and I and uh, maybe some other things as things start to slow down for the for the season uh, we get some more videos out so if you want to make sure that uh, you catch the next live stream click the subscribe click the notification bell and you'll get notified when I go live sometimes I go live and I don't tell anybody it's a surprise so <laughs> until then I was talking in this camera the whole time so when you run the production yourself, <laughs> you, you don't know you're missing a camera. So thanks for paying attention. Um, again, this t-shirt, live thankfully. I'll try to put a link in the link description below so you can get your own. You can support Feeding the Hungry in Texas. Um, for And again, my t-shirts are in the link below for um, some t-shirts I've designed that you can order if you, if you want to, if you like the design of them. So... Anyway, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for paying attention. Again, subscribe. Click the notification bell if if uh, if you want to catch my live stream. Get notified when I go live. So, until then, see y'all later and happy bending.